our world is shrinking, drawn closer by the intricate web of global trade. This intricate dance of cargo ships, railways and pipelines crisscrosses continents, seeking the most efficient routes. The trade between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans has long been dominated by the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal, a monumental feat of engineering, stretches across the Isthmus of Panama, connecting the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Since its opening in 1914, it has been a vital artery for maritime trade, significantly reducing the travel distance for ships. Its locks and channels have facilitated the passage of millions of tons of cargo, connecting the east coast of the Americas with Asia. However, now, a new contender emerges on the horizon. The Interoceanic Corridor in Mexico promises to revolutionize trade routes, offering an alternative to the Panama Canal. This ambitious project seeks to leverage Mexico's strategic location, offering a shorter, potentially more efficient alternative to the Panama Canal. The world watches as these two gateways compete, their fates intertwined with the future of global commerce. The story of these two passages is one of ambition, competition, and the relentless march of globalization. Understanding their histories, their strengths, and their limitations is crucial to grasping the future of global trade and its impact on the world economy. The Isthmus of Tehuantepec, the narrowest point between the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean, has long held strategic significance. Its potential as a trade route was recognized centuries ago. As early as the 16th century, Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés envisioned a canal connecting the two oceans. However, the challenging terrain and lack of technology made such a feat impossible at the time. Instead, a different approach emerged, a trans-isthmus railroad. Completed in 1894, the Tehuantepec National Railway offered a viable, albeit limited, alternative to the treacherous sea route around South America. For a brief period, the railway flourished, transporting goods and passengers across the isthmus. Yet its success was short-lived. The completion of the Panama Canal in 1914 overshadowed the Tehuantepec route. Despite its shorter distance, the railway's limited capacity and the efficiency of the Panama Canal relegated it to a secondary role. The dream of a major trade artery across the Isthmus of Tehuantepec lay dormant for decades. However, the seeds of ambition had been sown. The corridor's strategic location and the potential for a revitalized trade route never truly faded from view. In recent years, Mexico has embarked on an ambitious plan to revive the Interoceanic Corridor as a major trade route. This modern-day Silk Road centers around the expansion and modernization of existing infrastructure. The Tehuantepec National Railway is undergoing a significant upgrade, increasing its capacity and efficiency. Alongside the railway, a network of highways and pipelines is being developed, creating a multimodal transportation corridor. This integrated approach aims to facilitate the seamless movement of goods, reducing costs and transit times. At the heart of the Interoceanic Corridor lie two major ports, the port of Coatzacoalcos on the Gulf of Mexico and the port of Salina Cruz on the Pacific coast. Both are undergoing massive expansion projects to accommodate larger vessels and increased cargo traffic. The Mexican government sees the interoceanic corridor as a key driver of economic growth. It aims to attract investment, create jobs, and stimulate development in the historically underdeveloped south of the country. The corridor's success hinges on its ability to attract businesses and investors, seeking a faster, more cost-effective route between Asia and the east coast of North America. For over a century, the Panama Canal has stood as the undisputed gateway between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Its construction, a monumental feat of engineering, transformed global trade, slashing transit times and facilitating the movement of goods on an unprecedented scale. The canal's impact on global trade has been profound. It facilitated the rise of new shipping routes, connecting distant markets and fostering economic growth. The canal's strategic importance turned Panama into a global hub for logistics and transportation. However, the canal faces challenges in the 21st century. Its capacity, while impressive, is finite. The rise of megaships, too large to pass through the canal's locks, has raised concerns about its long-term viability. Furthermore, the canal's reliance on fresh water for its operation has raised concerns about its sustainability in the face of climate change and increasing water scarcity. As the Panama Canal grapples with these challenges, the emergence of the Interoceanic Corridor as a potential competitor adds a new dimension to its future.
However, the canal faces challenges in the 21st century. Its capacity, while impressive, is finite. The rise of megaships, too large to pass through the canal's locks, has raised concerns about its long-term viability. Furthermore, the canal's reliance on freshwater for its operation has raised concerns about its sustainability in the face of climate change and increasing water scarcity. As the Panama Canal grapples with these challenges, the emergence of the Interoceanic Corridor as a potential competitor adds a new dimension to its future. The Mexican government sees the Interoceanic Corridor as a key driver of economic growth. It aims to attract investment, create jobs and stimulate development in the historically underdeveloped south of the country. The corridor's success hinges on its ability to attract businesses and investors, seeking a faster, more cost-effective route between Asia and the east coast of North America.